Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is a short platform engineering explainer video based on an AWS proxy I built after talking to Keith Townsend, the CTO advisor. We were talking through what it would take to actually replicate the AWS CLI command, but through a proxy using Digital Rebar. And I want to show you how this works. We actually had a discussion about this on his podcast. And I encourage you to listen to that and get some background into the platform engineering reproductions. The goal here is just to show you how the system works and what the code looks like. Fundamentally, we're going to be using Digital Rebar as a proxy for the AWS CLI. We do that using the resource broker capabilities of Digital Rebar. In this case, we're actually running the AWS CLI as a container in Digital Rebar. And using the work order system, we can send a command to Digital Rebar to execute on this resource broker. It will run the command that we have, the AWS CLI command, and store the result and return it back to the system. Let me show you what that looks like in, in actual practice. Normally, if I would run the AWS CLI command, AWS EC2 describe instances, for example, what you will get back here is the JavaScript return from the system. And in doing this, we're actually using my credentials. We're talking directly to AWS CLI, and we're relying on um, the, the CLI to operate exactly as we expect, which is fine as long as we're okay with me hitting that directly and going from the client. But if I wanted to take that work and migrate it so that there were additional control points, or I was had AWS CLI calls in a script that I wanted to replace and subsume into a system that didn't have to run on, on that machine itself, I might want to take that exact command, have it work exactly the same, but run on a different system. That's what the proxy is. So if I took the same code and I just ran my script, I should get back exactly the same output. And this allows us to substitute in the AWS CLI from one system to another. And that's exactly what we're doing here with the system uh, proxy. Let me show you how this works. What we have is a simple script for the proxy. This AWS.sh does a little bit of checking, but fundamentally what it's doing is it's creating a work order a work order is an ad hoc task that can be queued in Digital Rebar and sending it into a pool of AWS CLI workers, which means it's not single threaded. I can actually create multiple resources that are all servicing these requests. I can also have different resources, different brokers that service different AWS regions. So the same command could be behind the scenes converted to another region or operated with different permissions or in, inside of a different scope. You could also add additional checking into the task after it's been run. I'll show you what the task looks like itself. But fundamentally, we're just making a request to run the AWS CLI command. We wait for that to complete, and then we return the result if it worked or is an error. If it's an error, we actually can still return the result back. So if I come back here and just send uh, a typo, what you'll see is we're still gonna return the result of the system and you, you'll get back the exact type uh, data from the system. Now, what's interesting here is while we're able to do this, you also, because it's a proxied system, get a full log. So here, what we've been creating are work orders. Those work orders that we created come in. They have a parameter that shows us exactly what was passed in, so I can audit that. And then it shows us the result was an error, and we can see exactly what happened in this error. The command ran successfully because there was no syntax error. This is actually the correct response. Here's the one that we did successfully. We can drill in here and see what happened. We can tell us that we were saving the output. We can look at the parameters and see what was what happened and what was returned and that the result was complete. The power of this is that if I'm running a script or running a CLI using this substitution technique, I can have this audited. I can see exactly what's going on. I can proxy all sorts of commands. Now you could do this with AWS itself. But the benefit here is that we're actually doing it 
within our system. So I could do this within my firewall. I could do this as a proxy on top of it. I could add additional check logic. Let's see what that command looks like to show you how that would look. So for example, this is the task that runs the AWS CLI and digital rebar. Um, you can see it's actually pulling in the parameters from that broker. So if I had different brokers, I could easily substitute in the region or the secret or the password. Don't have to send those to the user at all. And then uh, I could add in additional logic that would check to see that I'm doing the right commands or linting the commands or checking the output. Um, I could provide all sorts of additional checks into the system. And I'm showing it to you like this because the goal here is not for this to be a rack end capability of building a proxy. It is a platform engineering capability that you could add into the system and extend yourself. This is just an example of how platform engineering backends get built, where you can provide the front end, the AWS CLI, the developer's preferred mechanism. And instead of having to retrain them to use a different tool, we're actually giving them exactly the CLI that they're used to using, but adding in a layer of platform engineering controls that are absolutely critical to being able to scale the system. And that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, I can show you the same process going back through. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to try and show you how this, what this looks like here. If I go back and do my AWS describe instances command again, what you'll notice is it generates a new job in the background. You'll actually see that pop in. We can see it being queued, working, and returning the result super fast. If things take a little bit longer, that's okay. You're still in a, in a synchronous mode and can pull the re results back. Um, incredibly powerful way to build replacement automation without disrupting the app dev, developer, or the people actually using the team. And they can make that complete substitution um, with minimal disruption into their daily workflow. So you get a real benefit of a platform engineering team supporting and helping uh, behind the scenes, and yet the people doing the front end are minimally disrupted because they're not having to change how they interact with the system. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're interested in this, uh, all this code is, is in uh, Git. I'll provide a link to it so that you can actually review those two files that I showed you uh, and actually walk through exactly how we built the script to do this type of work. And, and you could proxy any type of systems. You can proxy Ansible, Terraform, any CLIs that you have. Literally, it's that simple to build a resource broker inside of Digital Rebar. Here's our resource brokers. Um, and allow that to become your proxy point uh, and scale that system out. If you have more questions, please come visit us at rackend.com. Uh, check out Keith Townsend's podcast about this. And we are producing tons and tons of platform engineering related material specifically around the operation side of platform engineering. So visit our website, subscribe to our newsletter, and uh, come talk to us about your challenges with platform engineering. We want to help.